American actor, author, and Christian activist Gavin McLeod was actually born Alan George C. on the 28th of February, 1931, in Mount Kisco, New York State, and became famous during the 60s for his appearances in the TV series McHale's Navy, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and later The Love Boat. So, how much is McLeod's net worth? As of mid-2017, based on estimates by Celebrity.Money, his wealth is reported to be over $13 million, acquired from his years as an actor both in movies and television, and also the sales of his books. He debuted in the entertainment industry in 1955. McLeod is the son of George C., a part Chippewa Indian, a gas station owner, and Margaret Shea C., who worked for Reader's Digest. He attended Ithaca College and graduated with a degree in acting and later on served in the U.S. Air Force. He then moved to New York to pursue his acting career. Although he didn't immediately land his dream job, he first worked at Radio City Music Hall and at this point changed his name to a stronger one while building a career. In 1957, McLeod finally got his first chance on television when he became part of the show, The Walter Witchell File, which then led to more opportunities for him in both movies and on television. Some of the projects that he was part of during this time include I Want to Live, Peter Gunn, Mr. Lucky, High Time, The Party, and more. This early break into television considerably helped his career and also his net worth. During the 60s, McLeod's career was going steadily, but aside from McHale's Navy in the early 60s, most of his projects only consisted of guest appearances in such shows as Dr. Kildar, USMC, The Untouchables, The Man from Uncle, The Big Valley, and The Andy Griffith Show. Finally, in 1970, his big break in Hollywood came when he became part of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. He played the role of the TV news writer Murray Slaughter for seven seasons and won the hearts of many Americans. Aside from the fame, he also garnered two Golden Globe nominations for his performance in the show, who eventually ended in 1977, definitely helping his career and tremendously increasing his wealth. Not long afterwards, McLeod landed another television role, maintaining his popularity in The Love Boat, playing the role of Captain Meryl Stooping, and his performance also earned him a couple of Golden Globe nominations. He appeared in the show for a total of nine seasons, which also helped his net worth grow. After the success, McLeod experienced a downturn in his personal life. The excessive stress that the show brought led him to becoming an alcoholic, which affected his life and family. However, he became a born-again Christian and credits his faith for the change that he then experienced and which led to a show called Back on Course, which focused on issues faced by married couples. The show also led him to write a book entitled Back on Course, the remarkable story of a divorce that ended in remarriage in which he shared his reconnection with his wife after divorcing. Today, McLeod still occasionally appears on television and recently wrote a book entitled This Is Your Captain Speaking, My Fantastic Voyage Through Hollywood, Faith, and Life. In terms of his personal life, McLeod is still married to his Patty, essentially since 1972, and together they have four children. He was previously married to June Ruvik from 1954 to 1972.